Hi, everybody. So, video three of chapter 32. In this video, we've done basically all the deburring of the holes. We've match drilled and put down all of the hinges. Well, we've prepped all the hinges for the skins. And now it's time to just get a little... Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm still dimpling. Uh, it's time to get a little uh, prime on and then get to riveting. Oh, there you go, primed. So the first thing that you're going to do is after you before you put the skin into the fuselage and you get it going, you're going to go ahead and put on it about half of the uh, nut plates. You put on the nut plates in the very fore edge of the skin, and you put one on that's in the front of the access panel for the step. All the other ones are put on after the skin's put on as they will be uh, nut plates that also double up across different ribs. Ah, but here's a little thing I'm doing right now. See that gigantic step bed that I'm using? So, I don't have a picture of it, but what I'm doing is... So, the, the what I'm doing is I'm drilling a very large hole. Uh, 29 and a half mil, well, 30 millimeters. About inch and a quarter, or inch and an eighth. I'm drilling them over by where the... Um, headset and microphone jack are. So in this plane, they're over on the far edges of the, of the aircraft, right? If you're sitting on the left, they're up to your left, uh, left of your thigh. Sitting on the right, to your right. Uh, what I've also done is, so the hole that I'm drilling behind there uh, is I'm putting uh, USB charging ports on both sides of the airplane. So in the original plans, there's only one set, there's two plugs, and they're in between the two pilots. Uh, basically, more or less at the same place, maybe actually a couple inches forward, but it, more or less, it's just, but it's right in the center, right? And there's only two. I thought, you know what? It's the future, it's the 90s. People need power, so I'm going to give it to them. So I'm doing one on each side. I'm actually doing a third pair, but those are going to be in the center. And something else that you're going to see later that's a little secret thing. A little secret preview that we'll talk about later. Uh, so both of these are going to be attached via the uh, master switch. So th these these plugs just won't be available for everybody. They're not going to be hooked to the battery. They're going to be hooked to the master. So the master will have to be on, and then you'll be able to charge whatever you want. right? So all you have to do is be in the plane with the master on, and you're good. There's, there's not going to be a lot of stuff that comes on with just the master. I do believe I'm going to have the intercom system come on with the master. Uh, let's see, what else? Maybe one of the G5s. I think, I think maybe one of the... I mean, everything's behind its own breakers. That's no biggie. Uh, and, and, of course, these. So, what you see here is the floor of... Basically, the floor of all pop roots. So the whole thing is basically pop riveted on, except around the edges where you have uh, nut plates, of course, because those are going to be uh, three, three and a halfs, and you're also going to be putting in some four dash fours, but all flush head, right? Wherever needed, flush. Now, before I actually put these in, and one thing that you didn't see was I have secured the wiring for the pimp lights. So the pimp light wire is secured, everything is good, the pimp lights will live, so we're we're happy with that. Uh, this does take it out of your forearms. Anyone that's not used to... Uh, oh, there's the control stick. There's going to be a different video about that later. Just pause the video and ogle the stick. It's really, it's really pretty. Uh, we will be going over... Uh, oh, shoot. Now I've lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pop riveting. So... Yeah, it's a lot. If you're not used to doing that much pop riveting, it can be a little bit of a strain on your forearms. Uh, but it, it wasn't that big a deal. And they're all basically the same size. There's two rows of rivets that you won't uh, put down. Um, there's one where there's going to be a cross section in the center, and there's going to be ones out on the side. But except for that, it's all pretty simple. Uh, in the next video, we continue to work on this. So, see you soon.